Antibiotics or antibacterial compounds kill or halt the growth of certain bacteria and can be used to treat infection. Antibacterial substances naturally occur in mould or fungi and have been used since ancient times for healing. Sir Alexander Fleming identified an important antibacterial compound named penicillin and influenced the dawn of the antibiotic era. Since then, antibiotics are one of the most common drugs used by humans and in agriculture. Without doubt, they continue to save millions of lives around the world. But there is a crushing downside called antibiotic resistance. This is an evolutionary process whereby the chemical structures of bacteria adapt and defend against contact with antibiotics. This natural process cannot be stopped, but human intervention has massively speeded it up and more and more people are getting ill for longer and even dying because their bacterial infection is resistant to existing antibiotics. It's estimated that at least 25,000 people a year are dying in Europe because of antibiotic resistant infections. 10 million deaths a year are predicted by 2050. Several human interventions have increased the speed that bacteria have become resistant to available antibiotics. Firstly, an alarming number of people have been given antibiotics by their doctor, or in some countries they can be bought from a local shop even though they didn't have a bacterial infection. One of the most common reasons people are prescribed and take antibiotics is to treat the common cold. Colds are viral and not bacterial illnesses and antibiotics will not have any effect. Secondly, in hospitals, poor hygiene has encouraged the spread of resistant bacteria. And thirdly, the use of antibiotics as growth promoters in agriculture have reduced the lifespan of existing antibiotics. Alongside all this, the pharmaceutical industry has not produced new antibiotic drugs for several decades. Consequently, doctors are left trying to treat more patients with infections resistant to available treatment. How can this be reduced? Global use of existing antibiotics has to be drastically reduced. Scientists and students at the University of Manchester are here to help. We run campaigns to educate people about antibiotic resistance. First, you can learn about basic hand hygiene to stop harmful bacteria spreading. Second, remember antibiotics cannot stop a cough or cold. And third, realise that antibiotic resistance is something each and every one of us can do something about. My name is Angela Spencer and I'm a lecturer on the Masters in Public Health at the University of Manchester.